hanging out after sunset in a country church cemetery by yourself when it's deathly quiet. Deathly? Deathly quiet? Oh, bad choice of words. When it's extremely quiet and there happens to be a fresh plot behind me about five tombstones away. Not creepy at all. No. I struggled with releasing this video, but I don't want this channel to be always about the good stuff, celebrating, hey, look at the video that I did and I got a good picture at the end of it. A lot of times you go out and you get skunked and this was a day of total, complete failure. Whether it was a church that had boarded up windows, bad light, poor composition, I failed every time I turned around today making this video. But I want to still release it. I want to show you guys that in photography, it's not a guarantee when you go out. You can look at all the research and still get skunked. I want to show you the good, the bad, the warts and all in my videos. And this one is full of warts, let me tell you. I apologize for the bad photography, but uh, enjoy my failure. Hey kids, welcome back. You know, I love heading out to Banff and shooting the mountains, but today we're in the prairies. We're outside of the town of Pinoka. It's a town I grew up in, and this farm church has been around for about 100 years. Uh, last year broken into so they're waiting for the insurance company to uh, to help them out obviously the windows are boarded up not what I was expecting but uh, what can you do uh, vandalism happens they're gonna get it fixed we have some high wispy clouds tonight I'm hopeful as usual that those clouds will catch some light but uh, don't know we have exactly one hour it is 7 30 sunsets at 8 30 so this is golden hour there's some clouds on the horizon so i don't know what we're going to get i'm going to get these sunglasses off so i can actually see my camera but i got to move my butt let's go i love this church let's go shoot it Camera's on the tripod, we're all set for the first shot. I'm really nervous that we're gonna lose light. So I'm gonna pop this right now while we've got some golden hour light happening. So let's figure out what we're doing for exposure. One one thousandths, let's go F8, I don't like that. I had my f-stop too low. f is a sweet spot for this Sigma lens. It's a 17 to 70 uh, lens. I'm going to pop it on live view so I don't have to scrunch down and look. So with that, I'm going to have to increase my shutter speed. Typical sunset, sunrise, get extra color exposure. I'm going to underexpose just a little bit. So I'm going to go 1 1 25th of a second. Normal exposure would be one one hundredth of a second. So I'm not underexposing by a lot, just a little bit. I could pop on a polarizer to darken that sky, but there's not much happening in that sky right now. So let's just pop this. I have to set my uh, timer. So let's do that as well. We'll put a two second timer on. Image stabilization off because we're on the tripod. Back to live view, focus in on the church and pop it. Just a straightforward shot. I might slide over into the, uh, the cemetery and get some of the headstones in the shot as well. But like I said, I think we might lose light here. And that would really suck. Shot one is in the bag. And like I said, I think we're gonna lose light. Look at those clouds. The sun is right above them. Hopefully, they won't last very long. Knowing my luck though, that might be it for sunset. So I'm gonna walk over to the, to the uh, headstone area, to the cemetery area, 
and see what we can do there. I'm gonna grab the camera. You're gonna come with me. We're going this way. These rows of headstones create a nice leading line, I'm hoping, that will lead us to the church, but not really sure. Let's give it a shot and see. If I do lose light tonight, I'm still gonna photograph this. This actually might look pretty good in black and white. This old church has been around for, like I said, 100 years. This actually is my extended family, my aunt and uncle's uh, farm church. So I've been in this building a bunch of times. Uh, that's why I feel comfortable photographing around the headstones. I know a lot of these names. Uh, I have family that's buried here as well. So this is kind of a two-in-one for me, getting a video of the church and some photos but also, uh, you know, it touches the heart a little bit being out here because I know these people. A little bit different shot than what I thought I would have if I came down to the tombstones. Um, because I like shooting the building at a three-quarter angle, uh, the lines lead you straight to the front door perfectly, but I don't like shooting a building straight on like that. So I'm a little bit over. Creates a nice little foreground um, subject matter as well. I'm going to actually change the aperture to 2.8. That will hopefully, as I zoom in a little bit, create a little foreground blur in my shot. We're gonna see what that looks like. Because of that open aperture, I'm gonna to have to change my shutter speed and make it a little faster. So I'm now at 1 60th of a second. Still the two second timer on. Focus in on the church. Pop it. We'll see what we get. Don't really like that composition. There's a, a headstone up front here. Uh, there's a black headstone here that is off balance towards the edge of the photo. So I'm just gonna switch my position here. I've got you on video now and we'll talk through my composition as I just kind of feel around and see what we can do here. I had it set up like this, but this headstone with this gap here, I don't like. So I'm gonna maybe slide over a little bit. Hey, there we go. And drop down. Rule of thirds I'm trying to think of here. So let's go a little tighter. That might not work either. Let's come over a little bit. I'm just gonna lock in my focus. As I'm moving, the camera's coming in and out of focus. So let's try that. I'm gonna make sure I've got it all exposed properly. I'm gonna just tweak just a little bit. I think I'm cutting off the cross. Yes, I am. So let's lock that in. I'm gonna pop the shot and hopefully we'll get something tasty. I forgot I bumped the camera. Now I'm out of focus. Take two, focus. Let's lock in my focus. I don't wanna be on there. There we go. Yeah, I don't really like that as much. There's a little bit of extra space at the bottom left of the frame that I'm not a big fan of, that I didn't see when I was in live view, but now that I see in the photo, I don't really like that. So uh, let's move around a little bit. Maybe let's go a little lower. And if I come a little closer, there, let's try that. Two second timer is on. So we're locked in on the church. Exposure wise, 250th of a second, 100 ISO. We'll see what that looks like. I'm not really loving that. Coyotes. I think they're done now. <laughs> You know, I'm just not happy with those shots. Uh, 
I think maybe just the grass is gonna be the one to do. So I'm gonna go really low though. Um, if you remember, if you've watched the video about Chinook Blast where I took the camera and put it upside down on the tripod and went really low and got the reflection, I'm gonna try that here, uh, just getting really low to the grass and, and see what we get. The grass has got chewed up spots in it. There's no light. The grass is dead. There's no flowers. There's no sky. There's no light. This might go under the failed category for videos. Maybe I should uh, start a failed playlist on some of my videos. I've got a Banff playlist. I've got a quarantine playlist, a photo basic playlist. Maybe I should start a failed playlist. Oh well, Goonies never say die, right? So let's uh, figure something out. I don't know if you can tell or not when I get over there, but let me get over here and show you something. There's a hawk's nest in that cluster of trees and the hawks are actually flying over here right now. And they're screaming like crazy. They're, they're, they're doing the hawk screech tonight. It's been great. And of course, now that I bring you over here, and of course, now that I bring you over here, they're not gonna do anything at all. So even that's a failure for me tonight. <laughs> I've got no photography. I've got no hawk screaming. Uh, I don't know if I caught the coyotes howling. It's just been one of those nights. I don't know what I'm doing today. I feel, I feel like a failure today. But we're gonna keep on keeping on, right? What if I slid over a little bit? And did it this way? There's our composition. Let's see. Pretty basic and simple. Uh, I might move the church over just a little bit. I want to make sure that I'm not cutting off the cross either. So let's bump that up just a bit. Like that. Over. There's the composition. Fingers crossed. You know, it's not gonna happen tonight. I keep looking at that horizon and it's socked in with clouds. There's not gonna be any light at all. Uh, there's no cloud cover over here. I took a gamble tonight. I just needed to get out of the house and do some shooting. Struggled with the headstone shot at the beginning. Maybe have a black and white shot. Nothing fancy at all, just one black and white shot. Photography can be very frustrating, but the more you get out, the more you're rewarded when you do get the good shots and the better it feels when you do get the shots. So I'm gonna pack it in. I'm gonna hop in the Falcon and head out. In the meantime and in between time, take care of each other. I'll catch you next time, guys. Then you gotta run back and grab your camera.